Aloha everyone, I'm meteorologist Malika Dudley with your Guillermo update for Monday, August 3rd. As expected, Guillermo continues its weakening trend, now a tropical storm with maximum sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. The storm located about 620 miles east-southeast of Hilo is looking more disorganized on satellite as it continues to move west-northwest at 10 miles per hour. The trap forecast has been nudged slightly north since yesterday. Having said that, it's important to focus on the entire forecast cone, not only on the middle line of the track. Track error looking this far out into the future can still be hundreds of miles wide, as you can see by looking at just how vast the cone gets when you look that far out in time. If this track remains true, Guillermo should reach our southeastern offshore waters by Tuesday at tropical storm strength, then approach the Big Island sometime Wednesday morning and track along the smaller islands on Wednesday and Thursday. Guillermo is experiencing unfavorable conditions for further development. Vertical wind shear is starting to tear the system apart as it also tracks north over cooler waters. You can see the numbers here in Celsius, but you see the trend. Tropical storm force winds now extend 125 miles from the center, so it's always good to remember that even if the center of the storm is not tracking right for the islands, impacts can extend well away from the center. In fact, although no watches or warnings are in effect at this time, Time, we do anticipate a tropical storm watch may be issued as early as this afternoon or evening, depending on what happens today. We'll keep you up to date. Having said that, impacts to the islands from Guillermo will start to show today. Large swells ahead of tropical storm Guillermo are expected to spread from east to west through the island chain. Big, dangerous surf is expected for east-facing shores through about midweek. A high surf advisory is in effect and could be upgraded to a warning depending on conditions. As far as weather effects, it's still a little too early to talk about any specific wind conditions for the islands, but it is now very likely that the large field of moisture you see on satellite associated with Guillermo will bring periods of heavy rain and potential for significant flooding statewide from late Tuesday through Thursday. Thursday. Details of the timing, exact location, and amount of rainfall are still very uncertain and depend on exactly where Guillermo ends up going and at what strength. Remember, no be scared, be prepared. It's a good idea to locate your emergency kits, make sure they're complete, maybe hold a family meeting to discuss your plans. All smart things to do in the middle of hurricane season, whether a tropical system is headed our way or not. And on another note, I've had this question a lot. What's the weekend going to be like? Well, as of now, all indications are that we will be back to a more typical trade wind weather pattern by then. Well, guys, this is my morning video update for August 3rd. Things will probably change throughout the day. Our weather team will be updating the website as new information is available at the link above. So if you're wondering how things are progressing, make sure to check back in with us.